Hello and welcome back to uh, my little survival series and uh, this is going to be episode 2 if you guys actually haven't checked out episode 1. Episode 1 was pretty much just uh, your typical mining getting you know, like a little base setup and pretty much getting like a little bit of storage going. So between last episode and this episode I made this little storage area right here. got some beds and then I also uh, made the way down to the mine a little bit nicer. I did mine for a little bit. I got... Uh, some stuff. I got a good amount of stone, um, some good resources, actually, what we're going to be needing for today's episode. Um, and then I made this like little furnace array. Just It's nothing too automatic or anything, but it uh, did the job. I didn't really have to do anything. I did use lava buckets. I heard a lava pool right over here, right behind my little wall right here. And I actually have been taking lava from here for uh, using... For, uh, smelting which actually I think it smells like a hundred items or something this guy actually has been AFK for about an hour now I've been uh, in another world uh, planning on today's episode so uh, let's actually kind of see what you got, what you got. Uh, not bad stuff not bad stuff not the best but not bad uh, actually between uh, me and him yesterday I actually uh, had myself also AFK fishing for a little while that's why I had this rod I ended up getting a Lucky the Sea Unbreaking, Mending and Lure 2 Fishing Rod. Now, Lure 3 is the best, I believe, also, with this setup. So, but I didn't get the chance to get one. So, I'm just going to put my Fishing Rod, because I'm not going to need that now. Uh, and then, I actually ended up getting these really good books. So, Efficiency 4, the Mending Book, a Fortune 2 book, another Fortune 2, and then also a L Unbreaking 3 book. So I'm going to put this actually onto a diamond pickaxe, which I have right here, uh, which that will give me mending efficiency five, I'm breaking three and fortune three. So I'll have the best pick in the game pretty much already by episode two, which is pretty spectacular. Now, uh, for today's episode, I was planning on building a villager breeder, which we're going to need. Oh, also I set up a little sugar cane farm right here. That's an automatic, just a little sugar cane farm. Uh, but Today we are going to be building a villager breeder. That is one of the most needed things that I need to work on. So uh, I figured what better episode would be than episode 2. Because, you know, it's pretty early on. So, yeah, let's get that started. Alright, so we are going to need stone, brick, glass, and more stone, brick, and glass. So I did get that all smelted up yesterday. That's actually why I was AFK fishing. I was letting that smelt. So we're going to turn all of this into stone brick real quick. And then we are also going to need a boat. Uh, which, I'll well, just make a boat. Uh, so we are going to take two villagers and uh, we're going to set those up to breed. So we're not going to be taking all six of them that we got. Depending on the amount of time I have, I'm actually going to be building maybe an iron golem farm today. I doubt that I'm gonna be able to get to that or I have enough resources for it but if we do give it a shot so uh, for this villager breeder I was actually thinking right around because I, I don't want to build it too close to my base because I actually I would rather have the uh, the iron golem farm set up near my base so that chunk is loaded all the time so I'm thinking somewhere maybe up top this little hill right here actually for the villager breeder maybe somewhere like right up here because I believe that's far enough away from that village and it should be a pretty straight path so I think right up here will be a good place to get started so now I'm just gonna clear out this area and I'll get right back with you guys all right so actually um, I'm going to be following a video tutorial by Skizzy. I'll put his link down in the description to his like little villager reader that he uh, is building. I uh, looked at a couple of them on YouTube, and his was actually with the one that I liked so far the most. Um, it seems pretty productive, and also it will allow me to uh, transport the villagers really easily. So, uh, And it won't actually have a very large holding cell, so only six villagers will be uh, in, ca in captivity, and then... Uh, all the other baby villagers will actually get sent out, which I much more prefer that than all of them just sitting inside of a little, uh, like a little pen and trying to transport them with the guard. So I'm gonna sleep real quick and then we'll head back over to that area. All right, so right off the bat, we have to build a five by nine. We're gonna build a 
few blocks off the ground. We're going to build a five by nine. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five. And now we're just going to fill in this area real quick. All right, so we have to remove three sections for the baby villagers to actually drop into. So we have to chop off the two ends. And then we also have to cut off the very middle. So right here. Okay. All right, so the next step, we have to extend the border with stone brick, just one layer. Oh. Just going all the way around the perimeter. like that um, and then we will actually be okay once your perimeter is actually finished I'm gonna build a quick cap corruption table because I do not I feel like running all the way back over there so uh, from here we actually are gonna need a couple slabs and so this area is going to be where the little baby villagers are going to drop. The baby villagers hitbox is about one tall, so they're going to be able to drop through this area nice and easily. And the bigger villagers won't be able to do that since they're taller. And then also uh, we're making them this tall so uh, the villagers actually cannot jump onto them. So just like that. And I'm going to actually need some trapdoors, which I'm going to have to go back to my base for wood eventually. And uh, I do have to extend one of them out an extra block, just like that. Okay. So now that we're over here, we actually do need to extend the areas out four. So just like that. And we need to do this on both sides so there's enough room for the villager professions and also enough room for their beds. So the beds actually, I believe, are the new thing that allow villagers to spawn. So instead of using a bunch of doors like you used to in like 1.13 or what, whenever that was, I forgot when I used to play a lot, uh, I used to build uh, villager breeders and absolutely no beds were required. It was just doors and it was always a pain in the, <laughs> it was always a pain here and the doors just open and close all the time. So I'm actually pretty glad that they're only beds and workstations now. Although I don't know how expensive workstations can get, we will be finding out. So let's just close off the rest of the area. And uh, also we do need to place trapdoors here so uh, the villagers don't actually float in there and uh, destroy the crops around them. So that will help with that scenario. Let's just drop down real quick. Build new steps so we can get up here easier. Just like that. That should be good. All right, so now the next step. All right, so now we have to make, go make the beds, which I actually do have at my base. I do think I have enough wool. I collected some for my own beds and uh, I'm gonna need six beds and also four lecterns and also two composters. So let's just go uh, craft that stuff up really quick actually just about it I think we're almost ready for the villagers to go in but we do actually now that I think about it we need to get that bottom section going so uh, let's clear out some of this dirt if we place these water buckets here they should stop there we go exactly so now let's get this water Perfect. And it just keeps going. More trap door. And then that should be this area complete, actually. Let's destroy that block so it can actually just flow in here. So once they're in this room, they can't really go anywhere. So yeah, let's head on up. And this actually might be like a little villager trading area. So, but we'll see. So now uh, I'm gonna just cut to the part where I have two villagers in there. It's gonna be way too hard to, well, it's gonna take me way too long to actually get villagers in there. So I'm gonna just go ahead, take the time, and uh, get two villagers in here. So I'll let you guys know when that happens. 
All right, so now uh, I actually I ended up getting both villagers into the little breeding pen. So hopefully, uh, looks like they took up the butcher. So I don't know actually if I want them to take up the butcher. I think I'd rather have them take up the composter, at least one of them, or uh, like the farmer or whatever it is. So, but I'm gonna remove this real quick, and I mean, will they still breed? Maybe, I'm not too sure. Oh, there he goes, he planted it. So uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stay here until uh, we actually get six villagers. So uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know if the farm works. Oh, they're breeding, there they go. I see hearts. Oh, they're throwing food. Hey, there we go. Little baby villager. All right, so now I'm going to sit here AFK until they are a total of six villagers here. So yeah, let's get to that then. All right, so after being AFK for about 25, 40 minutes almost, uh, we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six villagers. So you, as you can see, little two babies. Uh, they, These two actually just bred and so now that we have the six villagers we need to wait for these two guys to grow and then after that we will open up the trap doors and proceed to uh pretty much let the rest of the like, little baby villagers to actually fall down so right now my only main concern is um I, I need to really pay attention to once this last guy grows because as soon as they grow um we're gonna need to open those trap doors so we don't have seven villagers in here otherwise i don't know what would happen if we have seven vill villagers i just do not want seven villagers in here so that is something i have to keep in mind but they shouldn't breed uh this guy one of these two guys actually just uh they actually just grow up and now they're actually in the working stages and i think these two guys might learn that they cannot work so they'll take um up the other two farming stations uh i'm not too sure what I have to do to actually allow them to allow them to work but I'll have to figure that out another time but once all of them grow I'm gonna open up the doors and I'm gonna throw a roof on this so I'll let you guys know when they grow them two are just looking at all right so I was AFK for a little bit and it looks like we have all six I actually uh oh 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 shoot there's an iron golem is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. There is an iron golem, so I guess he will protect a little bit. I think it's because I scared them, so I jumped down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there are six. I want to see. Now, are there any babies? I don't know. Okay, so they are breeding, but they're getting broken up. They're getting broken up. They're getting interrupted. How do you stop that? Is it, th there's an even number amount of villagers. It's like, y'all, dude, you don't need to have a fucking three way. Ooh. Yeah. They got interrupted. Ugh. Is that why? They're getting interrupted or bothered? I think so. Okay. Them two are... Them two are going. Can each one have a baby? Oh man, see, that's what happens. I think that villager is actually there. Okay, let's actually see if that villager. Okay, so there is a villager there. And he's chilling there. So I'm gonna leave him there. And he will be stuck there. Okay. Oh, I did hear a baby. Did I hear a baby? I definitely heard a baby villager. Where is that baby villager? I definitely heard one. Did you go down the stream? No. Dang it. 
All right, so what I had to do was actually, oh, there he is. I had to make the change of putting more beds in. So uh, in order to actually have them keep going, they have to think about the, uh, they have to think about the villagers. So for example, like there were only six beds, so there could only be six of them in here. So now that I have four more beds, they're gonna keep going because uh, their uh, the little babies are gonna be taken away so far away that they're gonna think that they died or they just disappeared. So pretty much that's gonna allow for pretty much us to keep them going infinitely, inf infinitively, yeah. As long as that guy doesn't claim a bed. So hopefully he stops jumping on the bed. So boom, there he goes. So now he's gonna get carried away. He's never gonna register a bed. And he's gonna be taken away in that stream. And he will go all, go all the way back up. All the way to the other villager. Oh. Oh, okay. R.I.P. Baby Villager. That, uh, that just happened. Yep, that just happened. Alrighty then. So I am definitely covering that hole up. Because uh, that's exactly what happened last time. Um, yeah, that just happened. Okay, so this villager can come on down. We're going to slowly work his way down. Alright, here he is. Hello. So you're gonna chill down here. We're gonna dig out this area and then we're gonna decorate it a little bit nicer just so we can have like a little villager trading hall. And also so we have the ability to uh, transport them up if we actually need to. So for example, like for an iron farm or something because we will need four of them for an iron farm. So uh, I'm gonna dig out this area real quick and I'll let you guys know when I'm back. All right, so after sleeping, I was able to actually finish a little bit of the area down here. This is what I'm going for. Just like a nice like little wooden area. No, by by no means is it finished. I only figured that I am, uh, I'm going to keep about four villagers down here. Figured I don't really need many more. Um, just one with mending, honestly. That's all I'm going to want to want. That's all I'm going to need, actually. Uh, but some other uh, books would be very nice, like I'm breaking or efficiency. Um, just basic stuff like that, so... Uh, as you can see, I don't think I actually load the chunks from anywhere over here. So my base, I'm not going to be able to load anything down here by any means. So with that being said, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to see if any of them are going to breed right away. No? Okay, what if we place that one there so we can't escape? We can actually get in here and we place it down below. Ooh, there we go. Protection 2, not what we are looking for. Actually, what's the... Oh, pff, 9. There we go. I think that changed it. Rip tide. And uh, we're going to keep going until we get mending. Oh, man. Come on. Are you serious? The one that I play sideways. That's the one I get mending. Okay, so... Uh, 26 emeralds. Oh, I don't have any emeralds. I don't have a way to get emeralds. So hopefully the guy will keep his trade. Do they keep their trades? I think they keep their trades. So uh, let's place this back. I believe they keep their trades. Let's hope they do. Otherwise I'm going to have to go through like that little grandpa. Man, that actually kind of pisses me off a little bit. The one, the one I place sideways is the one I get mending. So uh, I guess let's go back up. And uh, we'll go over here. We're going to sit AFK for just uh, a little bit. And uh, we'll see how many villagers we can actually get to spawn. So I'll do like a little, maybe I'll do like a, like a little time lapse for this. Just because I want to see how efficient this farm really actually is. 
so we'll go up here. They should be actually almost in prime breeding time. Because I believe they... They kind of start to breed when the sun gets around here. Actually kind of where it's at right now. We should start to see... Uh, I'm going to try and farm. Or uh, turn most of the soil back into what it should be. So they sh we should see some hearts here. There we go. Some hearts are going off. Let's hope none of them go bad. So actually what was happening before, they were going angry. Uh, and they were going angry because there was not enough space for them to actually have uh, little villagers. So as you can see, boom, right there. Now hopefully by the time the sun goes down, the little baby villager does not go to bed. We're hoping for the baby villager to actually drop down, go into the water, and go into the stream, and go into our little area over there. So actually, I think he already went down and into it. Yes, there he is. So as you can see, they're gonna follow. He's gonna follow the stream all the way down into the little area where the other villager is. So and that pretty much is gonna be it. Now obviously it's gonna be, it's it would be more efficient with more villagers, but I'm not looking for a ton of villagers out of this farm. I'm just looking for honestly all I need is four more. That's all I actually need. If I get any more villagers, it's just going to be really jam-packed. I've had that issue before where they just kept breeding and breeding and breeding and it just never stopped. So, and that's not what I'm really looking for in a villager breeder. I'm not looking for a breeder to just pop out fucking babies like it's nobody's business. I'm just looking for the occasional uh baby villager gets transport over there and then yeah, so uh, I'll do a little time lapse of, uh, or I might, I'll, I'll just sit here actually AFK and I'll let you guys know how many uh, baby villagers pop out. We'll go check there at the end. So I'm going to build a little AFK hut for myself so I don't get hurt by any mobs during the nighttime. And then, yeah, I don't have any more blocks. So it looks like we're using slabs. Boom. So yeah, I'll let you guys know in about maybe an hour. Alright, so after being AFK for about an hour, I'm actually not too sure how many villagers we got. I did just see one go in, and it's about that time for breeding, so we actually have one right here. So we're going to wait until this little guy goes in to the little tunnel of doom. <laughs> not really, but uh, we're going to wait for him to go down. He, uh, As soon as he sprints, he should actually enter the little chamber and go on down the slide. So let's hopefully see this here in a few seconds. They're all crowding around him. Come on. He's jumping all over the beds. That's all he wants to do. Come on. Uh, one thing I definitely want to actually do with these guys, though. So, it seems like these two are pretty much guaranteed to breed every almost every morning. And pretty much, actually, they're guaranteed to breed pretty much every night. And uh, these uh, other guys, they're kind of a hit or miss on whether or not they breed or not. And I think that's the fact because they have no food. So I think I'm actually going to build like a little carrot farm uh, just for myself. And I'm going to give these guys some carrots so they can uh, breed amongst themselves. So hopefully that guy actually runs here and just, oh no, that guy sh cannot go to bed. Uh-oh. Whatever shall we do here? Let's push them. Okay, we're gonna punch you out of that, but do. Go. There you go. Sorry, bud. <laughs> How'd it happen to ya? See ya. Alright, let's uh Can we get up on this? Sorry for hopping on your face, dude. And then we'll run on over real quick. Is that guy still heading down? There he is. <laughs> You're stuck forever and ever. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm kind of concerned, though, because I really hope that there's no villagers peeking up at the top, and there's not. Awesome. So now we should have quite a bit of villagers here. We have one, two, three, four... Oh, we have, okay, let's count. Let's kind of get one, two, three, four, 
five, six. We have six down here. So six villagers and oh, seven. Okay, seven. <laughs> no, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven villagers in one hour. That's actually. Oh, so, what the? F okay, no, I think that might be actually the same one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven. Yeah, that that was the same guy. He just immediately ran to the same hole for some reason. All right. Um, that's kind of funny. So we are going to stick uh, some of these guys. We're gonna we're gonna actually put them away. I'm gonna give them professions, and uh, I think I'm gonna end the episode off here, guys. So hopefully, you guys all enjoyed the video. It was pretty much a struggle all today uh, to actually try and get this video. Oh, to even get this breeder actually working and going so I might make a video on how to actually build the breeder yourself I might actually might I might do that because uh, it was pretty much kind of a pretty big learning curve for me and it seems to work well enough for uh, uh, just a basic player like me I'm not looking for like 80 billion fucking villagers an hour I'm just looking for a like, typical just good i mean seven villagers an hour that's not bad i was able to do something else in the meantime i was actually able i was actually starting to edit this video so uh yeah hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe tech out peace